GRDC Soil Constraints West has been a five-year collaborative project to identify and address major soil constraints that limit crop production. The aim to increase soil health and profitability for growers. While the long-range research has been based in Western Australia's Grain Belt, the findings can be applied across Australia's southern cropping regions. And we've got projects looking at soil acidity, soil compaction, water repellents, and then other subsoil constraints. A project focus has been to encourage growers to identify and respond to their soil constraints. The message? Dig deeper, literally because constraints, such as compaction, can be up to 50 centimetres underground. I think the first thing that growers have to, have to do is identify and diagnose what the situation is. Now, whether that's talking to people like us or talking to their consultants, um, but digging a hole, definitely having a look, finding out where the roots have gone. All of those things are vitally important. Across all soil types and regions, costs of constraints equate to around $100 per hectare and the estimated total cost is staggering. It's over a billion dollars when you put it all together in, a, in each year and the difficulty with actually calculating a single number is that we often have these constraints that are more than one together and um, we, we're looking usually at in solving individual constraints. And in WA's Grain Belt, there are often multiple constraints interacting that prevent or inhibit crop growth. For example, improving root growth by ameliorating subsoil acidity with lime is beneficial. However, that benefit can be enhanced if subsoil compaction is broken up. Earlier research and soil sampling projects highlighted the value of soil testing to depth. That awareness is being built on by the Soil Constraints West project to help manage acidity, which is widespread and a production risk. If we're looking at the soil acidity projects, for example, there's a, a good recognition that the lime and a lot of lime that has been applied to manage acidity is still in the surface. Um, and that lime needs to be mixed through the surface, needs to be put into contact with the acidity that's deeper in the profile. The current project has confirmed a strong demand by growers for information about soil management. There's still more to learn in some research areas, such as deep ripping, lime application and managing water repellents. But there's been strong take up on many initiatives, despite the added workload on growers adopting new practices. What we're doing is um, improving the soil to a point where we're maximising their productivity, maximising their profits that they can, they can achieve. Five years on and GIDC's $33 million research investment is paying off. Growers are trying different techniques, including strategic tillage using modified or different ploughs and controlled traffic farming systems to reduce recompaction. New information tools have also been developed by the project. We have one called ROSA, which is Ranking of Soil Amelioration um, techniques or methods that helps growers understand what might be the best way to apply some of the amelioration treatments. We have a controlled traffic farming calculator which again helps them understand how much of the paddock is being trafficked and how to reduce that and then we also have a lime calculator which is going to be released shortly uh, which will be looking at incorporation of lime and the returns from managing acidity. A number of soil quality ebooks are available covering soil management, organic matter and acidity, with more to come in the series. For this last period of these projects, we, um, we have Jenny Clausen who has come on board uh, in the extension role and she will be helping us across all of the projects, not just the soil acidity project. <laughs>